So on this short video, uh, I'm going to explain how to access the, the Wi-Fi internet and network options on Windows 11. Uh, I'm using a laptop uh, and it's a, a fairly recent update on Windows 11. Uh, I start off by going down to this area in the bottom right corner. Um, so again, this, this will vary. This will depend on your device uh, and its setup, uh, particularly if it's local authority managed. Um, but this is the system tray, this area down here in the bottom right, and yours might look slightly different depending on what you've got uh, installed or available. But currently I don't have any internet access, and so it's showing the, the wee internet, the wee globe icon with a, a scroll through beside it. If I select that, it's going to bring up all my network connections here, and it's this one, this is the Wi-Fi symbol. Um, so this symbol will replace this one when I'm connected to the internet. If I'm connected to the internet, um, then or certainly connected to the network, then that symbol will appear here instead of the wee globe icon. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, open it up, and we'll see what is happening. I've got a list of networks that are available to me. And if I select now, if it's my home network, it may be stored to connect automatically and, and it should then reconnect itself. Even if you disconnect, it should reconnect. That will depend how it's managed in your local authority or your school, whether the devices are allowed to reconnect automatically or whether you have to enter a network security key. That's just a password. Um, so you've got to make sure that the name of the network is correct whatever that is for your school. So again, don't go connecting to random networks and it turns out you're connecting to a, um, someone in the community that neighbours the school. So it's your school network. If you don't know, ask. Likewise for the password. Enter your password. Remember Cyber Hygiene Point, um, National Cyber Security Centre. National guidance is a password should be three random words. Now in this case, it's... Um, possible that that's not the, the case, um, it will be up to your local authority and whoever has set that password. So um, you're just going to have to use that password that they have set. But if you're setting your own three random words, and remember to remind the learners of that. You can then select next and it will start to access that network. Now, if I have the right network and the right password, then it should connect me to that. If it's not connecting for some reason, then, then you've maybe got a fault in your internet. At that point, I would say it's out of your hands and it's time to contact your IT digital coordinator, your whether that's in school, at local authority level, uh, and it's time to report a fault. And if I've done that successfully, you'll see that it will now tell me that I'm connected and secured. It is possible to have an, a connection to the network, but the network, because of a fault, is perhaps not accessing the internet. And it's always important as well that you see that it is secured. You can then disconnect at any point if you need to. And as I said at the start, you'll now see my globe icon has been replaced with that um, signal icon showing me that I'm connected to the internet.